Hi guys, welcome to another video from Total Technic. Today we're working on the Audi A4, S4 and RS4. Uh, this is for both the B6 and the B7 models. Uh, many of the B6s, uh, including the Audi S4, uh, as we have here, uh, have this uh, engine cover on the uh, on this side of the engine next to your coolant expansion tank here. Uh, now, uh, important to note, uh, the B7s uh, generally don't come with these. This is the B6 thing only. Uh, however, lots of owners like to uh, retrofit these covers into their B7s because it looks a lot cooler than just having it uh, plain. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually going to uh, remove it and we're going to show you where the other uh, fixing points are, uh, both underneath the cover and on the car. Uh, so it'd be useful for B6 owners that just need to get the cover removed and of course B7 owners that are considering retrofitting one of these covers into your car. So without further ado, let's crack on. OK, so there's three main uh, mounting points that are kind of holding this thing into the car. Uh, just under here to the uh, the side of the um, power fluid reservoir here, there's a kind of a little uh, rubber um, rubberized bolt that's, that's attached to the side of the, uh, the chassis there. It's a little clip there. And then in addition, uh, at the back here, we've got like, um, it's actually attached to the, uh, the coolant expansion tank. Uh, on the ex coolant expansion tank, you've got like a, a metal ball. And on the bottom side of this, you've got a rubber socket. So that's the second one. And on the third one, it's just a little uh, plastic tab that actually fits uh, underneath. Let's pull that off for you. Uh, actually fits underneath, you can see it there, underneath the, uh, the metal there. So what you'd want to do when you come to remove this, obviously you can't attack the back of it, because that's the bit that's kind of fed in first. So what you want to do is kind of grab the uh, the front of it and your first, remember your first mounting point is kind of around there. So what we want to do, just grab it, pop that off. And then next, we're going to pop this one off like so. And then we'll just lift the whole thing up and we'll slide it forward like so to release this plastic tab. So flick that over quickly. So what we've got is this plastic tab here. This is the plastic tab that comes under the, uh, the metal there at the back. Uh, this one here, which is the, um, the socket, and this is the, uh, the ball connector. Uh, this might be of interest to some of the B7 uh, watchers out there. And then additionally on the side here, uh, we have this, uh, this little circular plastic bracket. And what this sits on is this thing here, uh, just by the uh, washer fluid bottle. So it kind of slides in the, uh, around the, the groove uh, in there, if you like. So if we just pop that in, I'm going to show you how that, that works in reverse. So the first thing you want to do is, is get this uh, tucked in and under. And then next, you want to make sure that that one pops into the socket there. And then your final one, just going to make sure you hit the groove. There it is. And that one pops in like so. So that is it. That is the uh, how to remove and replace the engine cover. 